Hi people, this is uh, Red Sea of Red Sea Gaming, and this is my update of what I've been working on for the past week and a half. As you can see here, um, I need to level this entire mountain, and it's coming down nicely. As you can see here, I'm using stone pickaxes, which allow me to work hard on removing the mountain block by block. As you can see, this is what I have to do. See, progress is being made. I started building this in February, and after almost four months of working on this, it's coming along nicely. Slowly but surely, that mountain will disappear. This is just the foundation of the wall I'm working on, as you can see there. And this is the floor for the actual city, which will be covered in dirt in the meantime. As you can see, I'm laying down the dirt. A lot of what is uh, taking place here was recorded over a week and a half. Sometimes I would record for every 20 minutes, 15 second clips. Sometimes I'd film for like 20 minutes. Mainly the reason why I'm recording a lot of this is to prove to people that I built this all in survival. Showing the day-to-day -day routines of building all this over a period of uh, a week and a half of work. It's an honor to film all this. As you can see here, uh, um, I have chests here to collect all the materials that are being obtained while putting the materials, I mean, obtaining the materials from the destruction of the mountain. It just takes a, a lot of time just to just to take down this mountain bit by bit, block by block. And it just it's a pain. The benefit I mean I mean survival uh, if you want to build big, you have to put in the the time, the patience. Also, you have to be in a upright mood in order to work on this. And uh, here's my recommendations if you do start building your own huge project in Minecraft. Number one, have another TV in your room. Like, watch some of your favorite movies while working on your Minecraft build. Just make sure it's a long one that uh, is like three hours long. If you're a fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd, I recommend getting his uh, uh, his X Collection, which has 19 hours of the first 100 episodes. I usually just play that in the background, just so I can work without having to change movies after the movie is over. Or history documentaries. I prefer the ones uh, that talk about architecture, like Engineering and Empire. The only disadvantages with uh, building in survival is that it just takes a lot of time. Time that can be best used in, uh, to play other games, but sometimes I like a game where you can create and there's no time limit, you can take as much time as you need to to do all this. Like I played other... Uh, uh, other people's creation uh, maps and I like um, 
create uh, for more as a testing ground, you know, build your build, uh, see what materials you'll need. But I like survival where you don't have a plan, you start building. You start uh, just carving away at the land like I'm doing right here. And it gets fun in a sort of way to see how much materials you'll, you're collecting in an hour. And it gets to the point where uh, I have to take breaks just because of how long it all takes. The longest I've ever spent on a survival project was um, my sand palace, which was six months. I might break that record with this build when it's done. Slowly but surely, uh, this will start to be built. As you can see, my inventory is getting full. Like, the only thing that slows me down is when my inventory is so, is so full that I have to go and add to the chests over there to empty them. As you can see here, look at that. That is is progress. It it's just amazing. This server is nothing but a hive of, uh, of activity. Just as you can see, I have to empty chests in the construction site to get them out of the way. It's when I'm working on my build is that I had to build these supply rooms so I could move materials back and forth from the construction site to here. I gave this place uh, a nickname called the compound. As you can see, I'm just walking through it. Now I'm putting stone brick on the floor where the pillars will eventually stand. This is going to be a, a huge city with pillars underneath it to support the weight. I like building everything with gravity in mind. I don't like floating buildings. As you can see here, I got some friends in here. And, so, uh, and then I'm back and forth. Most of the time, it's me working on here by myself. And it's good to have a few friends on here every now and then. As you can see, they're giving me materials so I can take them back to the chest. I'm putting some torches down. As you can see, the mountain is coming down. Alright, I was just showing you who was in the server at the time. I gotta make sure these people get credit. it gets to the point where uh, lots of people will show up uh, out, of, out of just curiosity of what I'm building. I let people explore my server. And, uh, I don't kick them. The only thing that I don't give them is privileges until uh, they at least tell me what they're on the server for if they want to help. Gotta make sure they're not a griefer. Otherwise weeks of work will go down the toilet. As you can uh, just, oh, uh, the mountain is coming down. It's amazing. It's good when you have lots of friends on here. I'm sorry, it's just uh, growing a little insane working on a lot of it myself. All right. What you see here is uh, me just trying to seal up the lake very soon. At first I thought this was going to be permanent, but I ended up just uh, putting dirt and destroying this part of the lake so I could use it as part of the landmass. Alright, this is me putting 
I gain more floor into uh, into the city. All right, those are three people at the at the time. A lot of this is just progress. Lots of time, lots of effort. You see, I don't have to look uh, go into uh, into caves to find my resources. I find them as I tear down this mountain. Look at that, all that progress. Perseverance is the number one uh, thing you should have before you start on a build this big. This is just the foundations of the city. I focus on the foundations before I build anything else. You see, I'm just putting the stone brick where it will be permanently affixed. Okay guys, I think I'm going to end it here. This has been a week and a half worth of footage uh, brought to you by Red Sea Gaming. If you want to see more next week, um, drop by.